Hello everyone and welcome to uh, what's a somewhat unusual video we're going to do for you this week um, and this is all about helping you to correctly pronounce some of the more difficult Lanzarote place names and uh, I did a podcast of this some time back and it went down very well so I thought I'd create a video in the same way and we'll just overlay me uh, saying the place names hopefully correctly uh, over photos of each of the places I'm going to talk about. Key things with Spanish are that you say every syllable, you say what you see, an accent means you push on that syllable, and if there's no accent, the push is on the last syllable but one. But we'll see this in action as we start to look at the place names around the island over the next 10 minutes or so. And the first one is Orsula. Ursula. Can you see there's an accent on the first O? So that's telling you that's where the push should be. Now normally with Spanish, the push is on the penultimate syllable. So you would expect it to be Orsola, but it's actually Ursula. And the other thing to note with Ursula is that the Z sound in Canarian Spanish is like a soft S as it is in Lanzarote. Next up, we have Magues, the um, small village close to Aria. And two things to note, there's an accent on the A, so the push goes on the first syllable. And the second thing is that it ends in a Z, so we again get that kind of soft S sound. So it becomes Magues, Magues. Now this can be a difficult one, it's Punta Mujeres, Punta Mujeres. Uh, punta is relatively straightforward, it means point, Mujeres means women. Um, the key things to note are that the J becomes a sort of ach sound, Mujeres, and of course there's the push on the penultimate syllable. So it's not Mujeres, it's Mujeres, Punta Mujeres. Now we have our home village, which is Aria, and again there are two things to note with this. The first is that the H is silent in most Spanish words as it is in French, so you don't pronounce the H, you don't say Arharia. And the second is that there's an accent on the I, so it becomes Aria, Aria, because you're pushing on that I syllable, so it's Aria. And now we have the village between Aria and Teguise, which is called Los Valles. It literally means the valleys. The reason I put that one in is because the double L sound in Spanish is pronounced like a Y. So it's not Los Valles, it's Los Valles. The word for chicken is pollo, not polo. And Mallorca is Mallorca and not Mallorca. I think most people already know this, but um, again, if you're following the rule that you pronounce every syllable, the word is Teguise or Costa Teguise, as opposed to Teguise or Costa Teguise. And again, the push is on the penultimate syllable, so it's Teguise, Teguise. This is one a lot of people struggle with. It's the um, town or village right in the centre of the island. Uh, I hear variously Tahich or, or Tahich, and uh, actually it's Tahiche, Tahiche. So the penultimate syllable is the Chi, <laughs> so Tahiche. And um, you pronounce all three syllables of the word. This is Playa Onda, relatively straightforward one to say. The only thing you really need to remember with Playa Onda is that you lose the H because, um, as I said before, with Spanish as with French, in many cases, in most cases, the H isn't pronounced. So it's Playa Onda, Playa Onda. Again, this is another one I think most people are already good at. 
but it's just worth reiterating you say all of the syllables and you say what you see so it becomes arecife with the emphasis on the last syllable but one so arecife arecife and arecife of course means reef in spanish This is the uh, village between Playa Onda and uh, San Bartolomé. And again, it should be relatively stra straightforward. It's Guime. Remember, you say all of the syllables that you see. So in English, typically that would become Guim, but in Spanish it is Guime, Guime. This is the one we struggled with the most when we first came to the island on holiday. I remember driving around in the car and talking about going to visit Tinajo. Tinajo. Um, actually, uh, the J sound becomes very much like an H sound in Spanish. So it's Tinajo, Tinajo. And remember that push on the A syllable, Tinajo. And this one I've only put in because it's uh, quite an awkward thing to say in Spanish. Um, la asomada, because you're going from an A to an A. Um, it's the town just above Conil. And actually what happens in practice is that everyone rolls uh, the, the two syllables into each other. So it just becomes la, la, la asomada, la asomada, as opposed to la asomada. And uh, Macha is home of one of the best teleclubs or sociedads on the island. You'll notice there's an accent on the A. The CH is pronounced CH, so it becomes Macha, Macha, with the push on the match syllable. And this is the one I think most tourists struggle with the most. Um, I've heard Los Picolos and Los Poquios and all kinds of things. It's Los Posios. So the C in the middle of a Spanish word is pronounced the same as an S. And remember the double L becomes a kind of Y sound. So it's Los Posios. Again, the emphasis on the last syllable but one. Los Posios. And uh, this is Yaisa, Yaisa, the one of the most beautiful villages on the island. Most people pronounce this Yaisa, pronouncing the Z as we would in English. But actually, I put this one in just to emphasize the point that the Z becomes that kind of soft S sound. I'm not 100% on it, but listen to a Canarian speaking it and you'll hear it coming out as Yaisa. And this is the village that overlooks uh, Playa Blanca, the balcony or the balcon de Femes. And the key thing here is that the accent is on the second syllable. So if the accent wasn't there, it would be Femes. But the accent is there, so it becomes Femes, Femes. And finally, I've finished with a bit of a curveball because it's very, very unusual to have two vowels in a row in Spanish. And uh, therefore, the word su doesn't really exist. And in fact, it's pronounced so, as though it was so. So it's pronounced su, it's pronounced so, so. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. And uh, have a fantastic weekend wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching once again.